Hey guys, Hack Tutorials, and today I bring to you the sixth episode of my series how to make an RTM tool in C using Qt. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the new library that I made for TMAPI uh, that we're going to be using instead of Milky's. So, if you recall correctly, Milky's library was beta and it was not really complete, and that's why I made mine. Um, also, if you look at his, it gives you lots of warnings. I counted there were 119 uh, issues with the project and there were 76 warnings. That's really bad um, because when you program, a rule of thumb is don't just eliminate errors, but also eliminate warnings. So um, I did that. So I cut it down. I cleaned it up. I made it more efficient. So just overall, it's better. Also, he had a CKP part of it. Um, and it really didn't work, so I just cut that out as well because we actually have a full CKP library now. So uh, let's get right in. Uh, the first thing you want to do is just completely get rid of the uh, uh, PS3 lib library for Milky. Um, so let's see, include ps3lib.h. I already got rid of it from the project, so you can just delete that and then go into um, your project folder. Scroll down. And where it says um, ps3lib.h, just go ahead and right click and delete it. And then it'll ask you, it'll prompt you something on this screen. You'll have to select uh, close all. Um, <clears throat> and then, yeah, it'll be completely gone. So once you do that, go ahead and download the TMAPI library that's in the description and in the NGU thread that I put down there. And here is what it'll look like. It is, it is in a RAR. So go ahead and open it and drag the folder onto your desktop. You could delete the RAR now. Let's go ahead and open it up and drag the two TMAPI files or paste them into your project folder. Um, and then go back into your other project folder, which is where it's built. Where it's built. So go in that, inside there, click release, and then copy the ps 3 tmappydll and paste it in here. I already did that. Copy and replace. Um, and so now you can close out of this, I think. I'll actually just minimize it. You close out of this and go inside your project. So the first thing we're going to do is right click on your project, click add existing files, and select the two TMAPI files. So now they're inside here. You could go ahead and look through them. Um, pretty neat. Uh, so first thing you want to do is go into your main window dot, main window .h <coughs> and then include TMAPI dot .h, which I've already done, like this. And then scroll down and Make an instance of TMAPI just like this. I'll just redo it. TMAPI, TMAPI. So it's very similar to CCAPI. So once that's done, go inside mainwindow.cpp. And also, the functions are very similarly named. I just made them start with lower caps letters. So you're going to have to make some tweaks. Here's how. So go into mainwindow.cpp. And inside here, we're just going to have to slightly modify every time we use a function from ps3lib. So Right here, this is how it would look like in, in PS3 lib. It would have the PS3 colon colon SN TMAPI colon colon connect. Just delete this, exclamation point TMAPI dot connect, like that, with lowercase. Do the same thing here, exclamation, exclamation point TMAPI dot connect, then exclamation point TMAPI dot attach, and then where it says write byte, do TMAPI dot write byte with the lower caps. And I'm just going to do control F and copy this and then replace all with this. So do that, replace all. And now where we have set memory, we could just do tmappy.setmemory, lower caps, copy and paste this, <clears throat> and tmappy.writeString. Next, I actually noticed that we don't have message, Q message box included, so just do include Q message box. And now this should light up pink. Um, the next, as you can see right here, we have a set API thing, which we no longer have. I got rid of that, but we're going to make a new header file for that. Right click on your project, click uh, add new, C++ header file, and call it API, like that, api.h. And we're going to add a couple things. Uh, first, go inside your dot profile, just type this, config plus equals C++11. So if you're not familiar with C++11, it's just essentially a newer version of C++, which really makes the language totally different and allows you to do a lot of really cool things. So just add this in there. 
Um, make sure to do that. <laughs> Next, I'm just going to make an unnamed namespace because I don't want to put this into a named one. Um, so names, namespace. First thing we're going to do is make an enum class. Call it API. Enum class API. And put in the three states, or three APIs, I guess. You could have none, ccappy, or actually put tmappy first, tmappy and ccappy. And enum class is better than enum in some cases like this because none isn't really an enumerated type, it's just its own type. This is an API, this is an API, this is an API. If you just did a regular enum, then num would be zero, tmappy would be one, ccappy would be two. That doesn't make sense. These don't have any values, they are just their own type. So that's why you would use an enum class. And this is actually a C++ 11 thing. So you, you wouldn't be able to do that without it. Then make a function called void set API. First parameter, make an object of the API enum class, API type, and then do API, uh, and do a reference to an API that you wanted to switch. And I'll show you what this means later. Um, this is where C++ knowledge comes in handy, where you should know what this means. If type is equal to API colon colon tmappy, or API is equal to API colon colon ccappy, and that should be uppercase, then set the API right here, that's being passed in by reference, equal to the type. So this just makes sure that the type is valid. And I guess you could also add none here, so type equals API none. You could do that, I guess. This is just a check. Now go into mainmundo.h, then include this header file, include api.h. Then down here, make an uh, object of the enum class. So do api underscore api, which the underscore is a common convention for naming members inside a class. So go inside mainmundo.cpp and replace this line with set API. First put the type, do API colon colon tmappy. When the tmappy radio button is checked. And for the second parameter, pass in the um, object we just made in our class. Then go ahead and copy and paste this right here, except switch this to ccappy. All right, so that's the API selection. And now we also have to modify that here. So if underscore API is equal to API colon colon tmappy, and then same thing here, but with ccappy, then paste that here as well, and here, but with ccappy. And yeah, that should be good. Next thing, I also added a similar thing to the ccappy get library state, but for tmappy. So the first thing I want to do here, if the API is tmappy, if exclamation point tmappy dot get library state, then else, in the else statement, that's where all of this goes. And then I also got rid of the show the message boxes inside the connect function for portability purposes. So if get library state returns false, then copy the same error message from ccappy and put it inside here. Error library not loaded, make sure that ps3 tmappy.dll is inside the executable directory. And then this should be lower caps actually. Um, and then right here, we could put the error messages if it can't connect. And it can connect. So if it can't connect, cannot connect to ps3. And then if it can connect, then copy this one, connect it to PS3. Now I go to the attach function, do some similar, similar things. So if it doesn't uh, attach, then I'll just write cannot attach here. And then I'll put the success message here, attached to game process. Uh, and I think that should be it. So let's go ahead and run it. And yeah, it looks like it runs. My PS3 is on right now. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on tmappy, connect, connect it to PS3 attach and it cannot attach because I'm actually not in the game yet. So I'm going to start up the game and I'll try attaching again. Attached to game process and this is messed up. I should kind of fix that. So I'll just do connect to PS3 and attach and it looks good. Okay, so now I'm inside the game. Uh, we're going to test the name changer. So I'm going to change the name to hello YouTube. That's not how you spell YouTube. Or, oh my gosh. Okay, change name and it works. So that's good. Let's go ahead and start the game. So I'm in the game. If I click God Mode, God Mode turns on. If I click Super Jump, Super Jump turns on. If I click UFO Mode, that turns on. It works. Turn it off. There we go. So everything works as you can see. 
And I think that's about it for this video, so I hope it was helpful, and I will see you next time.